It's super gloomy. The weather has been nice the whole week and now it's gloomy. I think it's gonna rain. Can't really see it on the camera. <sighs> anyway, do you guys feel the same way when the weather is very, very, very gloomy and dark? You just your whole your your whole mood changes with it. You just don't feel like doing anything. You're just very bleh, you know, don't want to do anything. Just want to sit around and be lazy. This happens to me all the time. I feel like my mood is um, I feel like my mood is very, very affected by the weather. So maybe it's a good thing I live in Arizona because it's always sunny here. Anyways, I just came back from, well not just, but not too long ago I came back from work. Working the whole day from, since 8 a.m. in the morning. And I have a take home, like take home exam due tomorrow that I still have to finish up. I mean, I've, I'm almost done, but I need to fix some some other stuff before I can actually be confident in submitting it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. My day is not over yet. And um, yeah, last week was supposed to be um, spring break for us here at ASU. I know a lot of uh, people have spring break this week, but for us, for some reason, we have a week before everybody else. And I was on business travel the whole week. Uh, I went to New Mexico, a NASA facility where we're doing testing the whole week, and then I didn't really have a lot of time to do a lot of the homework that I have to do. So I tried to kind of work on it this weekend, and I got a lot of it done, but I still have some food to do, which is why I can't relax after work. Or I, I actually can never relax after work. I feel like whenever I come back from work, I always have something to do for school. And it's just a vicious cycle. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, wish me luck. too cold for me good morning guys it is Tuesday and I am running late I have a class at 7 30 and it's 6 57 which is not good because um, this class I'm taking in another campus uh, in Polytech and it's about like half an hour away so I gotta like, leave right now right now just for me to get on time to class but yeah um, today is the day I need to submit my um, I guess my take-home exam so I'm glad that's over. I was working on it until like very late yesterday, like midnight, 11.30 or something like that. And um, after that I have to go to work. That's what I usually do on Tuesdays. I go to class, 7.30 a.m. and it ends at nine. And then I just drive right straight to work. So yeah, uh, I'm already late. Let's go to class. You're kidding. A little punk tries to throw me off a train. We get into a fight and he falls off. Cops ask me why I did a thing like that. I tell them why. For three hours, I tell them why. They don't believe me. I 
I made it to to school with five minutes to spare. And I just realized this today is my um, first day back in class after spring break last week, so there's no one around though. I wonder, I wonder if, I mean, it is a 7.30 a.m. class, so usually, I guess it's usually empty. But as I was saying before, um, this is a Polytech campus, which is on the west side, or sorry, on the east side of, of the valley. So it is a smaller campus, but it is more for engineering here. They have robotics and a lot of engineering, more of the applied kind of like mechanical systems, uh, electrical systems and stuff like that. While, where in Tempe, we have aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and stuff like that. But it is a pretty cute, small campus, not as big as the one in Tempe. I gotta stop talking and walk faster. <laughs> But the reason why I decided to come here is because there weren't any more like interesting classes in Tempe. And this is a class for space systems. No, space propulsion flight. So yeah, let's go in. All right, class is done. Um, it is almost nine o'clock right now, and I'm about to head to work. Um, uh, it was I I found out that I really enjoy this class, although it's nothing new. I've already taken rocket propulsion before, but this one is specifically it's like more of a survey class where you touch a little bit on everything. Not to you don't really spend a lot of time on um, the details of the analysis of different. Uh, like uh, I guess rocket subsystems but the professor is very I guess the reason for that would probably be because in Polytech campus this class is an elective because there's no aerospace in this in this campus so most of the students that are taking these classes don't have a, an aerospace background so it's probably why he doesn't spend a lot of time actually diving deep down into the nitty-gritty of, of all of these systems but I just, I like how, I like the teacher's style. He's very, 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 very passionate about what he's teaching. You can tell that and the way he kind of paints the story of what he's talking about uh, that day, for example, for today. Um, but we finished up chemical rockets and we moved on to other alternative rockets. Um, specifically today I talked about nuclear rockets, well, why it's better. Um, what advantages, advantages it has and all of that which is as I said earlier it's nothing new to me but it's it's kind of refreshing to see it from other some like another professor's perspective kind of um, makes you think a little bit differently about what you knew um, although there isn't really there isn't it's not a, a new technology or anything like that it's been around for a long time but it's very it was kind of like a different view a different I set a different perspective on the same thing. Now it's time for me to go to work. I'll see you guys later. <sighs> okay, I just got home from meeting up with my friend that I haven't seen in a very, very long time. So it was very nice to see her, hang out with her, catch up. But it is 9.27 right now and I still have lectures to watch and a quiz that is due tomorrow for my heat transfer class so i have to do that to, right now like right now right now before i go to sleep um so i guess my day is not over yet i still have a lot of stuff to do and honestly i just want to go to sleep because i woke up at 5 a.m this morning but i don't think it's a i guess it's not a good idea for me to just not do the stuff today because I have to go to work tomorrow and also I have this class at 4.30 and that's when the quiz is due. So I should do it today before I go to sleep. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now until I finish it up and then go to sleep. I'm the only 
one or I feel like I use a lot of pens different colors when I'm writing my notes because whenever I'm in class and I look at my classmates they usually just have like a one or maximum two pens but I use a lot I don't know I just feel like when my notes are color coded properly I tend to be able to remember the information much better than when it's just a uniform color so let me know if you guys do the same thing um, and for those just in case somebody asks these are from Muji these are Muji pens some of my favorite pens ever this is like the best store for um, I guess what do they call it for stationery I am done. It is over. I am done for today, finally. It's. What time is it? Come on, tell me. Whoa, come on. My watch is not helping right now. Okay, it's 11 15, and I just got done with all the stuff that I have to do for tomorrow. Took the quiz, watched all of the lectures, and I'm really tired. I'm super tired. I can't wait to go to sleep and do it all over again tomorrow. Yay! But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, this is very typical days for me. Um, I always wake up around 5 or 6. Sorry, I have my... Invisalign's in, so I might sound a little bit weird. But yeah, I wake up around 6 o'clock, go to school, go to work, come back around 6 or 7, and then do homework, study until midnight. So I, re I really have no time to do anything else but that. And yeah, it's, it's my life. Really no time to do anything um, very little time to see my friends or go out or do anything of that sort. So there's a lot of studying, a lot of working, and I'm okay with that. It's not, I'm not, it's, this is not to complain. I just wanted to show you guys what a regular, I guess, a couple of days in my life look like. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have very busy schedules, just like me, what your typical day looks like in the comments below. I would really love to know. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you very soon in another one. Bye.